What's going on YouTube Gardener? It's your boy Sydney and Tori from the Naked Gardener channel. In this video, we're headed to Lowe's to grab a butcher block slab so that way we can show you easy DIY simple installation of a countertop for our island. And we're going to start right now. So it's the following weekend, we had to let our butcher block kind of get acclimated to our surrounding for what the uh, manufacturer recommended was to let it do at least 72 hours. However, had to go back to Georgia and we're going to take a measurement of this. Mrs. Naked Gardener would like a overhang on one side and on the uh, adjacent side. Uh, so that way we'll be able to sit our bar stools around there and eat comfortably. We're not eating to the side when we're eating our, our meals from right here. Uh, so we have this at 48 and 24 and our butcher block is a 39 by I believe 75. So we're going to allow like a 15 inch overhang. Uh, while we're going to, we're first we're going to pull up this uh, existing countertop and then take out the uh, front drawers here and everything that's on the bottom shelf. So that way when we add the uh, butcher block on here, we'll be able to screw and make it secure. All right, we're going to remove this. Like I said, we got to remove uh, some of the silicone that is helping uh, secure this uh, countertop to it. And then once I peel that off, we'll be able to use the pry bar and the hammer to pry it off of the uh, cabinet. So we got the countertop off and as you can see all they did was just glue it down uh, the you have some cabinet brackets in here where you have these holes where they were supposed to screw up in here and the silicone is just to add a better securement to seal it type ordeal uh, we will be using these brackets and i will probably be adding another bracket going across here for when i se uh, secure our butcher block uh, onto this uh, cabinet base. I'm just going to scrape the rest of this adhesive off and that way when we uh, put the new butcher block on there we'll have some new bonding seal on there and then we'll screw it up. Mrs. Naked Gardener is going to start taking these out while I'll start prepping up the uh, butcher block. So we're just going to take off 11 inches of one side of this butcher block. Uh, we're going to mark it out, square it up, put some tape on there so that it keeps the splinters or back ends or blowouts from happening when we're using the uh, circular saw. And then uh, since this is not going anywhere near the kitchen sink, we won't have to worry about sealing it. However, we will put a conditioner on both sides and on the ends. The scrap piece that we're going to, uh, that's going to be falling off, we're going to route, kind of find out what's a good placement for a route shape for the edges to keep it from being too, too sharp here and you won't uh, be able to see it and then we'll install it. So you're using that scrap piece as the practice piece? Correct. 
I wanted to make sure because I didn't understand that. All right. So yeah, the scrap piece is going to be the test piece where we could do anything we want to it. And figure out what corners we want. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to have to set the depth of uh, the blade to go past just a little bit. So that way I make sure I get all of this uh, countertop right here. And that's just very easy. Just flip of a knob right there. And you want to kind of go about at least a quarter inch past the uh, depth there. Lock it into place. We're good to go. So before we start, we got to do our PPE. We got our safety glasses and some hearing, hearing protection. So we have a quarter inch round bit and we're going to start off at the smallest uh, depth for, that we have and just kind of figure out what kind of look that we're looking for and then we can go with the, uh, the original piece. What setting was that? Because I can see the dip like right here. Uh, a little bit uh, past a quarter. Okay. Well, that's what I like. So Mrs. Naked Gardener and I noticed that the tape that was on the packaging on this board left a, a bad residue right here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is uh, kind of briefly do a 80 grit uh, sanding on here just to get all of the adhesive off on here. And then we're gonna finish it off with a nice fine 320 grit uh, sandpaper to get it nice and smooth. And we're gonna do the edge that we uh, cut as well. Why do you do that? Uh, it just lets me know what areas I missed so I know where I sanded it. So we just got it laid out temporarily just to kind of see how it looks and I like it. What about you? I'm liking that we are going to have this room for um, a seating area mm. on this side and then around that corner because when we have company there's a tendency to just gather here in the kitchen. And we're most of the time we will just be sitting and standing right here. Mm -hmm. And now we'll be able to sit comfortably instead of sitting sideways on the bar stool at the counter. We'll be able to actually sit at at here. So Yeah, that'll be good. So our next step is we're gonna silicone this and then uh, make sure we get the right size on here. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I get the the right depth, the overhang. I want about an inch and a half overhang on this side and this side. So once I get the inch and a half overhang, I'm gonna draw a pencil mark line and then take the uh, countertop off, put the silicone on there, and then set it where the uh, mark's at.
So we have our butcher block countertop all secure. And the next thing we need to do is add some of this oil to kind of help get it all nice preserved. We're gonna use a nice clean cloth, soak it in there on this side and the side that are exposed. Let it sit in for about 20 minutes and then you'll be able to use it from there. So this project was about two hours for us to install and that was after we had the butcher block top already acclimated. Now the reason I really love this is because normally when we're sitting down, I'm at, at the sit sideways and with this overhang, now I can sit comfortably with my legs underneath the counter and we can have more people around here. So we have a table set in here, table set over there and our formal dining room over there. So when we have our gatherings, it'll be a lot easier. Now, this is one of our first projects for uh, helping selling our home for our, our farm homestead. We're going to put a playlist above here so that way you can follow along. Until the next video, let's grow together. Thanks.